If you're working on optimizing the core web vitals of your site, you've certainly noticed this opportunity here, serve images in next-gen formats. And for this site, the Google PageSpeed Insights tool, which we're looking at now, estimates a savings of 3.45 seconds. What Google's looking for here is for you to serve the images on your website in a .webp extension. You're probably familiar with .jpg, .png, well .webp is kind of the next level format or the fastest and most efficient format for images to load on a website. And that's what Google wants to see to satisfy this opportunity and possibly get this estimated saving. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm actually gonna switch all the images over to the .webp extension on this website and load it here so you can see the improvement for yourself. And what I will say is that we're probably not gonna get this 3.45 seconds in savings and it's also not gonna make a huge, huge difference in performance, but it will make some difference. In that said, you know, at the end of it all, it might not be possible or practical for you to get all of the images on your site loading in that .webp format. But in my experience, if you have like one or two that are still loading in a JPEG or PNG and the rest are loading in WebP, you do get the majority of the value from it. So on that note, let's go into my WordPress website. And this is the same website that I've got loaded up here on the PageSpeed tool. And I'm going to optimize the images using the Imageify plugin. Now, there is another plugin that you can use besides Imageify, which is completely free. Imageify is mostly free or low cost. But this one here, WebP Express, also works very well. And I will say that on some of my websites, I found this one to work more effectively than Imageify. And that is because uh, on some of my themes, namely Thrive themes, the featured image, like uh, Imageify, just kind of struggles with getting it. it it's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it, but it does not get all of my featured images in Thrive themes. So then you got to go like, through manually and like download, re-upload the image. Anyways, yeah, consider that there's Imageify and then there's also this WebP Express. Now, I'm gonna enable Imageify here. And I've already got it configured. I don't mean to make this a video about configuring it, but I've got it configured here. Um, and it will do lossless compression and display the images in WebP format on the site. I also have Cloudways, that is my hosting provider set to serve the images in a WebP format. So this is a really uh, interesting setting here that it took me a while to figure out existed because I did not find this in the documentation for Imageify, but you have to come in here to the application settings, go to WebP re redirection and then enable it to get all of the images to serve in WebP. So I've got that, I've got the Imageify plugin loaded up here or activated on my website. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna delete all cache I know that they do the same thing or one does the other, but I like to click both of them. And then I'm also gonna come here on my server and go to manage services here and then purge my varnish cache. And at this point, we'll run the page speed insights tool again here. Mind you, that's 35 and we'll just go to 6.4 and 9.2. We'll click on analyze and we'll let it run. And now it should no longer have that next-gen image format opportunity because they should all be displayed in the WebP format. So it's gonna run for a few seconds here, maybe like a minute. Here we go. And we can see the performance score went up a little bit. And these numbers went down a little bit, but not very much at all. And of course, right here in the opportunities, we now no longer have that opportunity to serve images in the next gen WebP format because we're already doing it. So um, yes, it does improve the scores a little bit. And if you're really trying to maximize your page speed, I do recommend going through and serving images in the WebP format, either using Imageify or WebP Express. Uh, those are the two I found that I like. There are some other plugins out there. I'm sure that I didn't try. Uh, but I think the big point I wanna make here is that even if you can't get all of your images to load in that WebP Express, which that's something I've tediously been working on and kind of testing, and sometimes you run into images that just you cannot get to load. It's a real struggle to get them to load in that WebP, uh, in the WebP format. If you can't get them to do it, it's probably not making a huge difference on this. And I am actually on some of my other sites getting a 100 in my performance, even though one or two images are not loading in the WebP format. 
But for that note, uh, or on that note, guys, that is how much of an improvement you see loading the images in WebP format. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video helpful and insightful, you know the drill. Be sure to do me a sweet one. Smash that like and subscribe button. I'm calling it a wrap and signing off on this one.